away. But you can't do this. You must help me. If you want help, get it from Washington. Washington's dead. Haven't you heard? Oh, Gloria, please talk to her. You keep out of this, Miss Patterson. I pay $7 a week in this fire trap, and if there's any fun going on, I want to be in on it. Stop this clatter. I'm trying to think. It's all right, Grumpy. The Queen is trying to slip Snow White the apple again. She's four days behind in our rent. And you're two weeks behind with your hot water. I have to live, too, you know. Why? Don't you talk to me like that. I'll do better than that. I won't even talk to you at all. And I'll pay her rent. Oh, these people, they just need to shut up. Why are you always so good to me? Oh, I suppose you have to be good to something, and my dog died a week before you moved in here. I must get a job tomorrow. I've been telling you for months that the only job for a woman is marriage. Who would marry me? There's nothing wrong with you that a nice, rich husband couldn't cure. Did you marry a rich husband? I married a hoofer. All he had was a time step and a shovel off to Buffalo. Late in life, he became ambitious. And got rich? And got 20 years. Please don't feel sorry about him. But when I married this heel beater, I turned down a man who had millions. Every time I think of it, I want to cut my throat. Oh, I could have married anyone then. But you love the hoofer. My love. We used to go to Rise and Wembers every night after the show. I could have had anyone there from the millionaire Johns down to the bus boy. Yeah, that was a funny kid, that bus boy. He... Say, he's at the Savoy Grand right now. He'll give you a job. Oh, you think so? I know so. He'll do anything I ask him. And I'll ask him tonight. <laughs> <laughs>